Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the show in which I... Hey, hey, don't you dare! MVY, don't do it! Damn it, cut! Our first replay of the day comes courtesy of renamed user 5064031811. Oh, let's just call you John, shall we? Yeah, that works. John in the BDRG1B. Usually one would associate French designs with words such as elegant, stunning and exquisite. None of which apply to this very abomination of a tank. It's probably for the best that it never got past the blueprint stage, eh? But one saving grace is the fantastic 90mm gun dealing a whopping 240 damage per shot in tier 5. Which is unfortunately going to be a little bit less amazing by the time this video is out. Come on, T-67, don't be shy! Yep, that is more than half of the HP of a Tier 5 TD gone in just one shot. Unfortunately, the gun is indeed the only saving grace of this tank as the armour is adequate at best. While the Coppola sticks out like an arty in a swimming competition. But despite all the odds, John manages to solo four enemy tanks to secure the northwestern flank. Boop. Yeah, but that would also be the entire friendly team booped off the map while John stands alone against seven enemy tanks. Well, that's an interesting place to hide in the cap. I mean, when you have enemies like these, victory might just be possible. Wrong place and wrong time, friendo. Oh, now that one could spell trouble. Maybe the better play is to become a zoomer? Hey look, a Matilda capping in a billabong! No more waltzing for you, mate! The KV-1 triggers the cap to reveal its position, exactly the stroke of luck John needed. A massive mistake which lets our BDR control the pace of this game. Here we go! And that's your lesson on why capping is a terrible option most of the time, dear comment section. Now we've got to find that artillery which has been strangely quiet this entire match. And that's why. It's AFK and ripe for the taking. GG! Whoa, one might say, Adam, why are you feature tier 5 again? But what a tier 5 game this was. John, I mean, renamed user 50640381 scored Kalabanovs, the Langlades, and Pools medals, along with 4,687 damage, 12 kills, and 1,944 base experience in an absolute hyper carry. These lower tier games don't often come as good as this. That's why this BDR in particular walks home with 2,000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Onwards with a tank you don't often see on the battlefield, the K91PT Reward TD. And our hero Strong Maxi, who's desperately trying to complete the TD-15 mission for the Object 260, 
which is 8,000 damage dealt plus 6 kills and a win, a tall task for a tier 9 tank. Whoa, going all in right from the start. Now you've got my full attention. But Strong Maxi is doing all this for good reason. With just 20,000 damage being available in total, much of it on the tier 7 tanks, it's the perfect play to make. Especially when you have monstrous DPM and medium tank levels of mobility. Uh-oh, two on one is not exactly the ideal situation, even for a tank like this. Oh, that hurts. But that was the third and final shell from the Bizonte, making it fodder for Strong Maxi. And just in time, too. But that's just the beginning. And a double fire. Praise our in Jesus and pass the ammunition. Heck yeah! Maxi is now less than a thousand damage away from completing the elusive TD-15! That is such tough luck! Maxi still needs 500 damage, but all the enemies are on the other side of the map! Come on, come on! That's one! Just 150 more damage and the 260 is ours! Yes, that will work! All that's left is to win the game, which shouldn't be too difficult considering the six tank advantage for the green team. But could it be a Radley Walters medal as well? Heck yeah, get rammed! GG! What an explosive game by Strong Maxi, dominating the battlefield to win in just over six minutes. Dealing 9,051 damage with eight kills and 2,271 base experience, which, believe it or not, is not the most impressive part. Instead, it's the TD-15 for the 260, completed with honors. What an achievement! And we'll celebrate it by giving Strong Maxi 2,500 gold and our style. Wear it with pride on your future 260. And for the finale, we're stepping up to Tier 10 with Unique in a not-so-unique T110E5 heavy tank. Ooh, that would be one more replay of our hero going all-in from the get-go. My favorite. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get wrecked, T55. Hey, hey, hey! What's up with that? Rude and uncalled for. and also sent to our support team six, straight to jail. Oh well, got to work with the hand that's been dealt to us. Which in this case is a beeline directly to the enemy base. Well, maybe with an obstacle or two in the way. All right, now just got to deal with this out-of-place annoyance. And this amateur mountain goat. And we're Gucci, right? Huh, maybe not.
Whoa, definitely not. That's both the ammo rack and any remaining HP gone in an instant. That's one. And seven more left. Got to keep wiggling that cupola. Oh, this one has HE loaded. But it's not enough. Unique lives on just 18 HP. This is just insane. Oh, not another HE spammer. Watch too much suspense. Wow, <laughs> just wow. I can't believe what just happened. Unique destroyed seven enemy tanks while on less than 100 HP. And now it's all about that final RT, which has been surprisingly quiet so far. Oh, going for Fadins. Are we that confident? Yeah, easy. Uh... Well, that's just happened. Uh, so, cap it is. If you search for the word anticlimactic in the Oxford Dictionary, I'm pretty sure this replay will be there as an example. GG! What an epic game that was. An incredible last stand against eight enemies, of which one got away, gets unique a color Banos medal. The post-game stats also read 10,904 damage with 9 kills and 1,587 base experience, but those come nowhere close to describing what happened in the replay we just watched. Undoubtedly the best replay this week for me, a worthy winner of 3,000 gold and our sexy style. Well done! Wow, with that amazing replay, we have reached the end of yet another episode of Best Replays, Commanders. And what an episode it was, from low tier shenanigans, TD15, to a carry I can only describe as out of this world. So with that done, my question is, what do you have in store for us next week? We eagerly await more of your exciting replays that you can send to us either through whatreplay.eu or directly on World of Tanks Discord. And for our NA and Asia friends, we're more than happy to feature your replays too, so don't be afraid to submit those. And finally, I'm Adam Selgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!